Hello and welcome back to Always Be Better with Mel Wyndham. Today we're going to be talking about logic puzzles. Woo! If you've been following along, I've been teaching you know, fundamental you know, concepts of logic. And I suggest if you haven't already, take a look. Here's the series so far in logic. Or if you feel adventurous, you could go ahead and keep watching and see what you already know about logic. Well, let's hop right in. Who's ready for some logic puzzles? Okay, we're going to go to logicpuzzlebaron.com and we're going to try a logic puzzle. Check out this guy. <laughs> he must be the puzzle baron. Doesn't he make you want to go get pizza or something? <laughs> well, let's see. Let's. I'm just going to move the screen here so that we get more room. And let's go ahead and jump in. A logic puzzle. We'll start with the easiest setting 3x4 grid and easy. Okay, let's create a puzzle. Shoot. Start the puzzle. Okay, let's check out the story. Oh, we got Bigfoot. Okay, Bigfoot sighting registry. Using only the clues below, match each witness to the month and time of his or her sighting and determine the location in which it occurred. Okay, so we have witnesses, we have locations, and we have the months that it happened. In this grid, each of these big squares represents the intersection between each of these characteristics. This is witnesses versus months. This is locations versus months. And this is locations versus witnesses. And that covers all of the possibilities. Now let's go ahead and look at the clues. Uh, let's start with an easy one. Number three. Laurie's sighting happened in June. Laurie, June. We're going to put an O there. That means that we have matched up Larry, Laurie with June. And the same time that I selected that, note that it X'd out all of the other possibilities. Randy is not in June because Laurie's in June. Okay, let's get rid of that clue. You just click it and it gets thrown down there. If you ever want to bring it back, you click it again. Okay, go back there. Okay, here's an e another easy clue. Jenny April. Jenny April. Boom. Okay, now we don't really have any easy ones left, so we'll go to the not-so-easy clues. The count at Aspen Hills took place one month before the sighting at Laurel Grove. Okay, Aspen, Lauren. Okay, one thing about this website is they like to put their math variables here in this row. That way it makes it easier for you to compare time. Or sometimes it's money, sometimes it's uh, dates, sometimes it's other mathy things. Okay, so Aspen took one month before Laurel grew. We don't have much to go on yet, but we can go ahead and cross off. Let's see, since Aspen Hill comes first, it cannot be the last one. Since Lauren grew, <laughs> it comes later, it cannot be the first one. And we'll come back to this. We cannot eliminate that yet. Randy's sighting took place sometime after the count at Bald Hill Run. So Randy's happened after Bald Hill. This is the latest that Randy found Bigfoot. So Bald Hill cannot be these two. It has to be sometime before. And that means Randy cannot be this one. 
Oh, but look at this. We've eliminated all of Randy's possibilities except for this one. So we can go ahead and fill that in. Randy is in May. And that tells us Bobby is in March. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Okay, so Randy's... And Randy's did take place after Bald Hill. It doesn't matter which one we pick. That is after that. So we can get rid of this clue. It's not going to help us anymore. The April account was after the event... Well, it was either the event at Laurel Grove or the event at Serral Forest. This tells us a couple of things. For one thing, this ore is one of our exclusive ore gates that I talked about in the prior uh, session. So that tells us that Laurel Grove is not Serral Forest. So Laurel Grove... Oh, they're right next to each other. Okay. <laughs> they can't be each other anyways. So April was either Laurel or Serral. Since it was one of these two, April cannot be these two. Oh, and look. Another elimination, another elimination. Okay, and let's get rid of that. We got one more clue. And before I continue, let me show you this graphical thing you can do. Look at this one right here. Bald Hill Run is in March. And Bobby is in March. So that tells us that Bobby um, is at Bald Hill Run. And let's look down here. Bobby, Bald Hill Run, we can fill that in. And notice how this makes kind of like an L shape, only it's upside down. It's kind of like an F without its middle bar. So I call this the FL rule. If you have two circles in the FL position, then you can fill in the third location. Like these two are lined up so we can go Aspen Hills, boom, Aspen Hills. And now notice that we're starting to use graphics to help us solve this faster. We're using tools to solve this logically. And, and well, let me continue. We got one more clue here. The count at Aspen Hills took place one month before Laurel Grove. One month before Laurel Grove. And once you solve the, all of the top row, it fills in everything else for you. Let's see, March is Bobby, Bald Hill Run, April's Jenny, Sarah Forrest, May, Randy Espen, June, Larry, Laura Grove. And let's submit this and see if we're correct. Yes! Oh, but look, at the end, it will tell you how you did. We were very slow because I was talking a lot while we were solving this. Well, let's, let's solve one more puzzle. I'm just going to up this to 4x4. Four four. That means 4 characteristics with 4 items. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we're going to skip the story. When you get used to this, you learn to ignore the story. All you're doing is matching up items and characteristics. It's always the same. So, let's start this. Sydney, not brown. Sydney, not brown. Okay. Okay, that's all we get with the easy clues. Let's see. Okay, this is a new kind of thing. It gives you three different items. Turtle, yellow, five dollars. Um, since these are mutually exclusive, yeah, kind of like the uh, exclusive or gate that we talked about before, we can cross off all of these combinations. The turtle cannot be yellow. Turtle, not yellow. Turtle cannot be five dollars. 
boom. And yellow cannot be five dollars. Yellow cannot be five dollars. Okay. We're done with that. And here's another three different items. Awesome. The cat cannot be yellow. Boom. The cat cannot be six dollars. And the yellow cannot be six dollars. Yellow not six. Okay. Lucas is one dollar less than the bear. Lucas cannot be the most expensive one because he has to be less than the bear. And bear cannot be the cheapest one. Okay. Lucas is less than the bear. Okay. And Lucas costs less than the yellow balloon. So same thing. Oh, look at this. <laughs> uh, I crossed that out because yellow cannot be the cheapest one. And that also tells us that Lucas is less than the yellow balloon. So that, now we're doing good here. <laughs> Okay, of the red piece and the yellow piece, one was the fish and the other was Tony. Okay, it's talking about, it's pairing up the characteristics. The red cannot be yellow. We already know that because red just can't be yellow. And, but let's look, the fish and Tony, fish cannot be Tony because those are two different people or two different items. Okay, so we'll come back to that one. Of the balloon, Lucas bought, and the turtle. Okay, Lucas is not the turtle. Lucas is not the turtle. One was red and one was orange. Okay, red is not orange. Okay, before we continue, let's see if we can do any FL. There are, are no circles lined up, but we have a circle lined up with an X. We can work with that. Okay, look at Lucas. Lucas is $3. And the bear is not $3. That tells us that Lucas cannot be the bear. So bear Lucas is right there. So this FL rule tells you that if you have two parts of the FL, one is a circle, one is an X, you can put an X in the other location. And look, we have another circle lined up with an X, so we can do something here. Lucas, boom, Lucas. Okay, I think that's all the X's we have for now. So, or do we... Uh, yep, that's all I can find for now. So let's go through the clues again. The piece Lucas bought cost $1 less than the bear. Lucas is $1 less. Add one, four, bear, boom, done. Okay, and now we got some lining up here. Yellow, bear, yellow. Yellow, boom, yellow, already X'd. Okay. Red and yellow, one was fish, one was Tony. Okay, let's look at red. Red, one was the fish. Oh, we'll have to go here. Red fish, maybe. Red Tony. Red Tony. Oh, we can't solve that one yet. Oh, let's look at yellow. Yellow fish. Yellow fish. Yellow is not the fish. Okay, that's good. If yellow is not the fish, that means yellow has to be Tony. Yellow Tony. Okay, and if yellow is Tony, red is the fish. Fish, red. Boom. So can we get rid of this last clue? Okay, so we got Lucas and the turtle. Lucas, turtle, and we have red and orange. Okay, let's look at red. Red, Lucas, maybe. Red, turtle. Red turtle. Nope, the turtle is not red. Yay! Okay, so that means 
If the turtle is not red, the turtle is orange. Turtle orange. Oop, we got the cat. And if the turtle is orange, then Lucas is red. Lucas is red. Sometimes you have to go searching for where the intersection is. Okay, we got elimination, elimination. We've we've gotten rid of all of our clues, so the rest of this is just doing graphical solving. Tony, boom, Tony. Awesome. Okay, let's build this one in. Brown, brown, boom. Okay. Elimination. Orange, orange. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay, now we should be able to get the rest of this. Lucas, Lucas. Red, red. Boop, boop. Okay, let's get these. Brown, boom, brown. Okay, almost there. Bernard, boom, Bernard. Sydney, boom, Sydney. Let's see what we got. Yes! Oh, and look at that. I was still a little slow. <laughs> Dagnabbit. But, again, I was talking. Yep, I, I was talking, that's why. Well, there you go. Uh, logic puzzles. Woo! Okay. And now that you know how to solve these puzzles, it's time for you to go ahead and try them out. Visit that link that I'm putting into the description and see if you can solve these. Start with the simple ones first with at the easy rating and see if you can work yourself down to the very hardest <laughs> puzzle on there. And if you can if you can solve these puzzles, it shows that you have a very good handle on basic logic. And that means that you're better capable of advancing to the next stage. And, well, that's all I have for today. There will be more logic lessons later. Uh, but for now, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. And remember, we can always be better.